First time in Savona. I don't, I don't know any of you. But in a way, I kind of do. Because there's something that we all care about music, experimenting, finding new things. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. And when I wrote the music I'm going to play tonight, I was thinking about people like us. So in a way, I wrote this music for you. But I also couldn't have written it without you because I didn't write it to play by myself. I wrote it to play for people to listen. So in a way, I would say even maybe we wrote it together. So thank you. Uh, the first piece that I'm going to play is called When I Feel Like Myself.
I've been thinking a lot about what it means to have a job. What makes something a job? I thought about all of the jobs that I've had in my life. What's the, the one thing that they all have in common with each other? And I, I found that the one thing that every job has is suffering. <laughs> and then I started to wonder, can something feel like a job if you're not suffering? Is it okay to not suffer? Maybe a job can be fun. If it's fun, is it still a job? Maybe.
This next piece is called There is so much I'm afraid of. That's called sub feedback on the saxophone. <laughs> but maybe I should record it and sell it because it sounds awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've been thinking that people don't give up enough. And saying that out loud can be a little bit scary because if you're like me, then when you were a kid, your parents told you never give up. The most important thing is to never give up. But when the most important thing is to never give up, then the only reason you're doing anything is to not stop doing it. And maybe it's easy to forget why you started doing it in the first place. So I started doing an experiment with myself. Uh, every night before I go to sleep, I give up on everything in my life. And every morning when I wake up, I decide what I want to start again. And when I started doing this, uh, a strange thing happened. I started having fun in my life. Because I was doing things because I wanted to, not because I didn't want to stop. So I think I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, this piece is called, I give up every day.
somehow we're all together now and I hope that if I ever come back I'll be able to play for you again and um, if everything was perfect maybe two or three months before my concert here I could come early visit each of you at your houses <laughs> have a coffee tell you about the show, and then you would know, and I would know that you knew. <laughs> but this isn't practical. No. Um, and unfortunately, the only other way I've figured out to tell people about a show is to send them an email. <laughs> the problem is that everybody hates emails now. <laughs> <laughs> and you really have to trust someone to even give them your email address. <laughs> and uh, like I said, you don't even know me. I don't know you either. So over the years, I've, I've worked on a little exercise to help us trust each other. I'm going to take something that's very important to me, and I'm going to trust you with it. I have in my phone a notes app. And in my notes app, I have a note that says, <coughs> Savona Friends. <laughs> and during my last song, I'm going to pass my phone around. And if you'd like to keep in touch with me, you can write your email address down in my phone. Is it possible that while you have my phone, You'll open my banking app <laughs> and steal all of my money. It's possible. No. But I trust you. You won't. And maybe you can trust me too with your email address. That'll do it. I also have uh, some records for sale, vinyl and CDs, in the back, against the wall. And um, I would love to sell them to you. But either way, I'm really glad that you're here and that I'm here. And if you didn't hear before, uh, my name is Jonah Parson Johnson. I'm sure I'll be back, and I hope I see you then. Especially if you put your name in my phone. <laughs> and the last piece I'm going to play is called Name for You.